Welcome to another episode of the Property Investors Handbook Podcast, your essential guide to navigating the intricacies of property management. I'm your host, Adam Bell, and as always, I have the pleasure of speaking with Colleen Sutherland from Sutherland's Property Management Group. With a wealth of experience and a keen eye for the long-term success of property investment, Colleen is here to shed light on why cutting corners with discount agents might not actually end up being the bargain you think it is. Colleen, great to have you with us. Thanks, Adam. So discount agents, there, there, there are a few out there. I know some yes. have come and, come and gone. Um, can you walk us through some considerations of a property owner um, what they, you know, decisions they should make when deciding between, you know, a full service property management agent like yourself and someone who's doing it on the cheap. Okay. Yes. I get that question all the time. So people will say, uh, so-and-so down the road is doing it for 1% or 2% or something. There is quite a significant difference between the two of us. So in my agency, we offer a full suite of services and to have the full suite of services, I need to ensure that my figures are right for my business. So I have a, a specific business model um, and as do many agents as in what they're doing in business. The cheaper fee agents have a different business model in mind. So and I know that there is a plethora out of agents out there to choose from yep. um, that are cheap. Like I think they even go down to 3% or really? something. Yeah, I know. And I've tried to make the figures work seeing how, how, do they, how are they doing it. So when they're right down at 3%, they are building an asset and then they're going to sell it. Right. Um, because then they can sell it for X dollars. Sure. Admittedly, our rent rolls are valued on our commissions but when you're that low you're not going to sell it for much so they're building an asset but at the same time they're building a database so that when properties come up for sale they will market to the hordes and they can ha readily have someone available to buy your property however they're not thinking about the owner are they and, and no. keeping, the, keeping the asset in good shape no, so long -term what they're doing capital is capital growth for the the property investor. Correct. So they're building, 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 and that puts pressure on the staff, or they outsource all their staff to overseas, which um, is the latest thing now. It so is. you it don't is. get to speak to anyone, mm. and if you've got the senior property manager there, she'll either be too busy to take your call. Or she's gone and here's Susie, but Susie only lasts four months and she's gone and here's Mary. So there's no continuity of your property and it's history yep. and you don't get to speak to anyone. You've got to email and that's how they can do it super cheap. Yep. And then they cut corners, yep. but... See, I guess I'm starting to think you see those ads on TV, the, the cheap insurances and, you yeah. know, and why not... And, I think the point they're making is, look, it may be cheaper and it could go okay if nothing goes wrong. If nothing goes wrong. But wait until something goes wrong and then you can't claim. I'm seeing an analogy here that, you know. Yeah. Um, and things do go wrong. With, we, we've done, we've talked about this in the, the podcast before. Lots of things can and do go wrong yes. with, with properties. That's right. Uh, Unexpected things. And so. I think you're going to find yourself probably in a lot of trouble potentially with, uh, with these budget agents should something go wrong. Yeah, so when something goes wrong... The landlord will panic, fair enough. Yep. We're at the other end of the phone ca calming them down and saying this is how we're going to handle it and be proactive in our approach where if you've chosen a cheaper price point, then you need to expect that maybe you won't speak to anyone or maybe you'll get little Susie on the front desk and um, she won't exactly know what no. to do. So there is a lot of variables to choosing a cheaper agent. Mm, no, I can see that. And I guess, talk to me about services that may even, you know, you, we talk about yourself being a full service agent. What sort of services would a budget agent not be doing at all or, or, or doing properly? Well, not doing it at all would be the 
probably the biggest scenario. So let's again say the uh, agent is between three and five percent. They'll give you a schedule of what they will do and they will rent control for you mm. and they will tell you when maintenance is coming up and they will tell you when the lease is coming up. They don't actually do anything for those things. They'll just tell you. Sure. And what happens there is I've told you, you're busy, Mr. Landlord, and I get that you're busy, but um, we forgot that we didn't fix this because I don't have authority to do that because I'm not charging you for that. Mm. Whereas in a full suite, we will take care of that maintenance, take care of the uh, lease renewal, review the rent, do all the things it's and all inspections. Done for you and yeah, you, and you don't have to you worry get about it. What you pay for is what I'm hearing here, Colleen. You do. And then at the end of every month, you don't have a screed of fees and then you're sitting there going oh did that happen did i do that didn't i do that and mm. you don't have to think about it so it's peace of mind it is yeah yeah and you mentioned all those things i think another one would be insurance claims you guys help when when that's necessary i mean yes and discount agents they wouldn't want to borrow that i wouldn't imagine no and they wouldn't want to borrow of it because you're not paying for exactly. it exactly but they wouldn't want to borrow of it because they've got susie yep. who's fresh out of real estate school yep. and she's got no clue yep how to save money for yep. the landlord yep. in that regard. So we know how to lodge the claim. We know how to, the invoice needs to be worded. We know to follow up, all those sorts of things yep. and make that a seamless process of making an insurance claim. Absolutely. And being that you do that, you've got the experience, you do it well. Yes. And uh, that's, that's what you're paying for. It, I mean, I love the insurance analogy we used earlier that, um, you know, people look at insurance yeah. um, premiums and what they pay. Oh, I pay that and I get nothing from this. Well, mm. you, it, it's it's what you, you do get when you need it mm. uh, is what you're It's you're when you make for. that claim mm. as well or when something goes wrong yep. um, is when you really know that, oh, I've got a property manager on my side. Yep. Look, I'm sure if, uh, quite a few people discovered this with the storms recently that came through the, the Gold Coast. Uh, yes. You yep. know, uh, back in uh, late December there and... Um, Boxing Day or Christmas night yeah, or Christmas something? Yeah, Christmas night. Yeah. And um, I can imagine that uh, there's some very happy um, property owners out there who had great, uh, you know, great managers sorting, them, sorting everything out for them and probably some who are... Uh, in a, a world Still, of hurt right yeah. now because uh, their managers couldn't. So one of the things during those hurricanes, they've called it, is we had a lot of fences come down and they're mm. boundary fences. So it's my landlord and the neighbour. Mm -hmm. And the neighbour is often also rented out yep. and it's us. We didn't hear from the neighbour's agent we still haven't heard from some of the neighbour's agents, yep. but we did all the legwork to get the fence made safe and then to get it removed, get the quotes in, you know, all that sort of thing. And I've made a claim on my landlord's side. We don't know what is happening next door because they didn't even ring us. Wow. And so it's like, oh, I, do I keep going? And Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's the proactive approach that's um, saved a lot of the landlords, yep. yeah. And that's what you guys do, get in there and get things sorted out. Because on, on the other side of the coin, I knew a neighbour near me during that particular storm whose uh, fence got hit by lightning. Oh. So it was a colour bond fence and it just blew out a couple of, of panels. panels. Um, and, yeah, look, I would assume with a with a discount, um, it was on a, on a boundary that went onto another property. So there wasn't another neighbour you know, to, to worry about or it was actually the boundary of another estate and uh, quite well away from their houses, so they weren't too concerned about it. But uh, it took him absolute weeks. It, it might have even been into into the months to, to get that sorted through his... Um, through Insurance. his property... Ma well, his property managers. Oh, right, um, really? Yeah. Wow. And the and problem was he had a dog. And the dog kept yes. getting into the other... He had to keep it inside. I, I remember talking to him about this, and I guess this is what can, can happen. Um, he put it... He, he got onto them straight away, but first of all, it was Christmas, then it was New Year, and then, oh, well, hang on, we've got a whole heap of... You've just got a fence with a couple of holes Correct. in it. We've got, we've yeah, got houses with that. groups. Yeah. So he's just getting excuse after excuse mm. from his property managers. Um, he eventually asked, can I get in touch with the owners direct? And that, that wasn't going to happen either. So um, he was left in no man's land. Oh, the poor... Uh, and I've heard that so many times. So it's lucky that the neighbour has us on the other side mm. getting those fences sorted. Yeah. 
because yep. otherwise we still to this day, what is it, two and a half months since yeah. the cyclone, haven't heard from some of these agents. Wow. And it's like, yep. where'd you go? <laughs> I mean, this just proves what we're, what we're here to talk about today that, um, you know, you do get what you pay for and, uh, you know, cutting corners especially if things go wrong, can end up costing mm. you a lot more in the, in the yes. long run. Yes, yep. Absolutely. Well, look, thanks, Colleen. Um, it, it's clear that when it comes to, to property management, the wise choice um, is an investment in quality and expertise with a, you know, a full yes. agent like yourself. that's what you're paying for. You've been doing this for, for 20 years. Why? Number 30. 30, is it? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. So you know what you're doing and, mm. um, you know, the, it, it's peace of mind for your tenant and your, and the, the property owners. So if you don't con- – have a listen to this. Don't consider c- cutting corners when, it, you know – Property is one of the biggest investments in most people's lives, so why not protect it with um, someone who's really going to look after after you and the people who are living in, yes, in your investment? Yes, they're, okay. they're important because you're dealing with people's home lives. For sure. And I think because they've got so many to manage, the human element has been removed. Mm. And we saw that a lot during COVID. Yeah. Is that it's like, this is, it, this is how I have to do it, like it or lump it, mm. and it's like... And I feel sorry for the tenants at that time or, or during the time of the cyclones or anything that's to deal with their home life and needs repair, yep. sorting out, attention yep. of some sort. So, But the other thing that cheap fee agents do is they will do a service that's like rent collection service. So everything else is what you pay for on top. On top. So... It often works out cheaper to pay the full fee and have it all done, and have it all done, and then when it comes time to making, you know, sorting something out, like whether it's the fences or whatever it might be, you've got a team of experienced people knowing what they're doing. Yep. It might take ages and longer than you would expect, but that's what happens in our in our line. So no, for sure. Look, it's 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 clear, Colleen. You're not just managing properties; you're enhancing investments. So, look, thanks so much. This has been a, a, a really insightful episode, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there. You know, we, we understand that the cost of living and everything and, and money is yes. tight, but there are certain things you just shouldn't um, shouldn't scrimp on. And uh, you know, these are, are people's investments and their their future. And get get someone in like yourself, Sutherland's Property Management Group, who can, um, and it's peace of mind. Yes, okay. it is. Thanks so much. Look forward to uh, having another deep dive into another property managed sub- subject with you on the next episode. Look forward to it. Thanks, Adam. <laughs>